welcome back to nana here and then in this uh, record we are going to have a look at uh, the vendor management inventory so the order of the day as far as uh, manufacturing is concerned is uh, outsource everything whatever is possible you better outsource it so that we won't have a headache at all so in this uh, scenario uh, if you see uh, the maintenance of stock levels fine let us say we are having more than 150 raw materials on which we have to maintain the stock levels between a minimum and maximum level so that the production is not hampered at all fine the ultimate aim is what the production should not stop so you have to keep the stock levels between minimum and maximum and then unfortunately the planning department is not having sufficient people to what about the they maintain the stock levels actually between the minimum and maximum so they are very busy or otherwise uh, uh, it's really very difficult for us to do it so better outsource it <clears throat> let some supplier do the maintenance of the stock levels actually so this is called the inventory is managed by a vendor actually so it is known as a vendor managed inventory so we are going to see about how the vmi concept is uh, being configured the system actually so by which uh, uh, you will understand fully about uh, uh, how the vmi process takes place fine so the best plot is what outsource everything outsource so that what about let him let him do it and then the responsibility lies with him and not with our employees actually <clears throat> go there. so we'll not go there we'll not share my screen <clears throat> I'm not sharing the screen. <clears throat> so, what is this place, my lord? So, I have already uh, what happens? Locking this is not. So, let me first of all create an item. Or now go there. So, let me create an item. So, go there. Come on. Let me go on and create an item over here. Come on. I will now go to the product information management. I'm going to create an item. It's a VMA item actually. <clears throat> Click on it. Now going over there. Right? Click on it. I'll now create an item. So item is now getting created. I click on create item. <clears throat> so I'm now working on this A01. A01 zero to the R. Now what? Now put it over there. Click on it. Click on it. So I already created one item. I'm now going to go to the second item actually. So let me go for the second item. <clears throat> so go to the space finder. This is A01 <clears throat> underscore VMI underscore Test item. Fine. So the test item two. Fine. VMI test item two is the one. I'll not take copy it. I'll not put it in the description. Yeah. So I'll now go to the specifications now. So in the specifications, I go to the planning directly. I go to the planning area. I click on the planning area. <clears throat> in the planning area, I make it as what supplier managed. So we are going to have it. the reorder point planning is taken care of by the uh, the planning modules actually. Fine. The planning module will be taking up. Previously, it was in inventory. Now it has been shifted to planning actually. So we'll now go for the supply manager. And then here uh, we are going to maintain the stock level as let's say hundred and two hundred. So these levels, our people have to populate on this. Our people have to populate. And then uh, if the production has ramped up, they will they will now make it as what four hundred and five hundred. So likewise, what happens? They have to continuously keep on changing depending upon the production change actually. So that the then the raw material. I may not be going out of stock actually. Fine, that is the ultimate idea. <clears throat> so go that point, and then go down, and then it is uh, preferable to have the planning time frames as fifty days. No? Fine, so that what happens? Uh, it will not plant. But even though this uh, uh, particular activity is not linked to the planning time frames, but it is uh, preferable to have it as fifty days. That is not. So go that point. Everything is not done. Fine. So in the purchasing, I have now given what a list price over here. Now <clears throat> list price of ten is there, and then uh, these are the three uh, additional attributes which has now come for it. Allow substitute, allow one order, and then allow express. The express and cascade transactions are ready to come in fusion. It will be coming in shortly. <clears throat> so these are the three additional attributes. You make it as fine with that model. So the uh, item is ready. <clears throat> so here uh, the company has now decided to keep the stock levels between hundred and two hundred. <clears throat> I'll now go to the what is called associations. Now let me associate with the child R now. Good actions. And then go to select an act, and then let me associate with child. A zero one entry now. <clears throat> I'll now choose the child and click on apply and then click on that. So the item is now created. So A zero one, and then VMI test item two is the one. So A two one. Uh, I will now say uh, I will now make one more thing. A zero one two zero. So that what happens? Uh, it will be easy for me to what happens? Uh, query this item. A zero one two zero. The one. I am now choosing A zero one two zero. Find the one. The one. So go there. So click on save and close. Item is now created. Let me create a supplier also in the same name. A zero one two zero. Will now create a supplier. He is a vendor managed supplier. So the item is now created, and then we'll now keep a stock also. Fine. We'll now keep a stock of seventy five. I'll now go to the inventory over you. I will now go to the inventory over you, and then let me keep a stock of seventy five. 
So the stock levels are basically based upon your manufacturing or otherwise from purchasing. Okay? So these are the two various places from where the stock will be coming over here. And you may even uh, perform my intro transfers also. Fine. One of the methods you'll be doing it. And then wait. So put the create miscellaneous So I am now simulating the stock with the miscellaneous result now. With the miscellaneous result, I'm simulating the stock. Under so go ahead. I'm not putting it. So let me put an account. Okay, now fine. 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000. <clears throat> so I'm now having a three segmental chart of accounts for my exercise actually. And go ahead. I'm not putting it on. Click on plus. I'm going to give a plus. And then let me put the A0120 item. So A0120 is the one. And, <clears throat> and then I have got only one sub inventory over here. So in that sub inventory, I will now keep a stock of 70 pen. Now the supplier has to maintain the stock levels between 100 and 200. That's what I said. 70 pen is the stock. And click on sub in. So the stock is now recorded actually. You are now recording the stock also. <clears throat> now let me go and then create a supplier actually. You now go there. You will not create a supplier. And click on okay, fine. Not done. <clears throat> So I'll now go on and get a pair. I will now right click on the duplicate at the top. Fine. So one more tab region will be opening up. And then there, let me create a supplier for this. So go to the procurement. And then I go to the suppliers. Now. I click on suppliers. And then let me create a supplier actually. Let me have the same nomenclature of A0120 now. So click on it. I will now create a supplier. <clears throat> so click on create a supplier. So go there. The supplier name is what? A0120. Fine. I will now say VMI supplier. <clears throat> VMI supplier. Give it a tab now. So it's not coming back. The business relationship is spent authorized. You know that. And then it's going to be the corporation. You know that. And then click on create by which what happens. A0120 BMI supplier is now getting ready. <clears throat> and then since he is now taking the what happens, the pains of maintaining the stock levels in our inventory. So we'll now honor him with the pay on result actually. Upon pay, upon result, what happens? It'll be paid actually. <clears throat> so click on the payment now. I will now make one of the payment as a default payment. You know that. So okay. You know that. Not so it's not another point. So click on it along go to the what save now. Fine. At this stage, the profile is now changed. And then I will do the address now. Fine. Click on the address. <clears throat> I will not create the address now. Click on address. Let me create the address. <clears throat> so go there. Address I'm going to create now. So address name is what? I will not say A0120. Fine. <clears throat> I will not say address name. Country is United States. So I'm not putting the country as United States. So click on it, click on it. So then what happens? I'll now go there. So the postal code is what? 10020. Find the app. <clears throat> cancel. 10020 is the one. I'm giving it fine. I'll now choose the biggest one on this one. <clears throat> go there. So uh, I'm now going to have address line. Fine. A0120. Fine. Address line one. Yes. Everything is normal. I'm now enabling the ordering and revenue. So these two things are enabled. And then I will now give a what's called an email ID. I will now say 0120 at the rate gmail. Some dummy emails I'm giving it. Fine. So remember the emails you should not repeat at all. Fine. That's why what happens. I have now given a lot of emails on this instance actually. So that's why I'm now giving a dummy email. So click on save. Thank you. So save and close and then by which the address is now created. Now at this stage we had to submit for approval now. Because the internal profile change approvals will be going on. Thank you. So A0120 is one fine click on submit. So now it will now go for an approval actually for the internal profile change. And internal profile change request has been submitted. Fine, it contains changes to it. And then if you refresh it, what happens? It will be coming over here. I'll find this place. You cannot find all the supply coming up. A0120 find select it. And then at the bottom, you can go and then have a look at the what happens saying now. So go there. So the bottom, what happens? You can now see this is the request number. Click on the request number. So it will now get approved actually. <clears throat> So click on the request number on the bottom. Now you see, submit is now completed. The approval is also completed. That means what it is already approved. So it is approved. Fine, go down now. <clears throat> and then if you make a refresh on the main page, this will now vanish actually. It is already vanished actually. So go there. So click on refresh. Now the pending uh, supplies, the incomplete setup, it will now vanish. From A0120 will not be there at all. <clears throat> it was there previously. Now it is not gone. So go there. Let us now edit further. Now. Click on it. We will now go there and then edit. So go to the manage suppliers. Let me query my supplier. <clears throat> Z A0120 is the one. Fine. Make a search. Fine. Click on search. <clears throat> Go to space, man. So I will now click on the hyperlink and then I will now edit. So click on it. <clears throat> I'm going to edit this. So let me edit it. So I will now go to the contacts directly. Fine. It will now come with more time. Click on contact. And click on contact. So I now made so many uh, contacts actually. Fine. I, this time I will now have a distinct contact actually. Fine. Go there. The first name is Ananta Phi. Then it is Nana Phi. The distinct contacts. So, now I'm going to put it. 
Ananta Pai Nana Pai Pai. So the email ID is what again? Ananta Pai dot Nana Pai at the rate Gmail dot. I'm giving an appointment. I will not click on actions and then go to self net. Let me choose the address, the only address which you have done. So this contact is now sitting on this address. Right? And then I'm going to create what happens a user account. So you must have a supplier portal license, otherwise it will not be possible. Fine. So click on the user account. The system automatically adds certain amount of responsibilities for you. Some six or seven responsibilities. Fine. There's a series of responsibilities. Accept those ones. So by which what I'm saying, the contact is created. So the system will now create a username as Ananta space by dot Nana space by. That is the username the system will now create. It is based upon the first name and last name and not based upon the email ID. Fine. It will not be using it, but it will not use the first name and last name as a username for the contact. So the contact is now made. Fine, click on save and close. <clears throat> so it's not done. He's not having a user account also. The contact is having a user account also. <clears throat> so save and close. And then the contact is now created actually. <clears throat> now we'll now go there. And then what happens? We'll go there. So click on it. <clears throat> uh, I will now go to what sites. Fine, click on the sites. So to create a site, you must be a procurement agent. I have already made him as a procurement agent. And so what happens? You can do it. Only procurement agents can create a site, actually, as far as Kushan is concerned. It is not so in the case of eBiz, basically. And then here it has been made like this. And then I will not change it to what? Site file. <clears throat> site file, I am going to make it. What else? So keep us safe, then these uh, tab regions will be getting enabled. Thank you, And then since he is, uh, what happens, uh, making a payment, uh, he is now maintaining the stock, I will not enable the payouts. Thank you. It is called evaluated receipt settlement, and we already seen it actually. So click on the payout receipt. And then I will not make the invoice summary level as what normally packing slip. So that is a useful way of what happens summarizing the pay and pay on receipt actually. And packing slip is the one. And go that mode. So click on save. It is not done. So and then afterwards, we will now go to the what's called invoicing part. And click on the invoicing part. And then here, I will now go there. The invoice currency, I am going to make it as a US dollars. And then the payment currency also, I am going to make it as a US dollars. And these two things are not. And then I go to the site assignments. And then this is equivalent to multi org access. So go there, click on it. And then since I don't have much of a, what happens, a BU's alarm, I can even go for auto grade assignments. Otherwise, you have to choose. No. Otherwise, you have to manually choose. Fine. Auto grade assignment is okay. Fine. So the client view and then build to be your same actually. I will not go there, click on it. I will not put my A01. I will not put lock one here. Fine. Lock one. And then build the location. Also. So these will now default onto the, what's called, your purchasing documents. So the remaining things are not recovered. Fine. Click on seven close. And then finally, you have to submit it. So whenever you see a submit button, you have to submit it. Fine. It's all done now. So we are going to submit it by which order the supplier is not created actually. E0120 is not created. Now we'll now go to the sysadmin and then we will now have one more thing. <clears throat> we'll now go to the sysadmin now. So I will now click on done and then come out of it. I will now click on this what's called main one now. <clears throat> so I'll now go to the tools and then I go to the security console. I go to the tools and then I go to the security console. And then here I'm going to modify my usernames now. I'll now go to that one. I'll now go to the users now. I will not query for the Ananta Phi. <clears throat> Ananta, I will not query. Ananta Phi Nana Phi is the one. Time that one. It is it is a come over. And then first of all, let me reset the passwords. No, thank you for reset passwords. So that what happens, I can easily log in now. So let me reset the password. <clears throat> so the password is now reset. Fine, that you want to And then I will not change the username. I don't want uh, such a big username actually. Thank you. I will not change the username. <clears throat> so click on edit now. I'm going to change the username. Go there. I will now say a5.n5. The a5.n5. So that is the username I'm giving it. So everything is okay, fine. Click on save. Go give a tap. So once you give a tap, the save and close will be coming. And then we have to add one more uh, what happens uh, yeah, your role also. Fine. Let me open up my document actually. So if you go there, click on it, let me open up my document. So I will now open up the fusion procurement documentation in which uh, we have a documentation for BMI actually. VMA is the one fine entry. So VMA. So VMA replenishment is a document on my fusion procurement documentation. Fine, open it up. So for a supplier user, we have to have the supplier demand planner as well as supplier inventory manager actually. So the supplier demand planner is already available. If you go on and see in this place now, fine. So you will now have now go there. So supplier demand planner is available, but supplier inventory manager is not available. So let us now take a copy of it and then bring it over. So I go So we will now add this role actually for the supplier user actually. For the supplier user, you have to have this. Click on it. No go there. So click on add role <clears throat> and then let me add it. So supplier inventory manager is a role. I will not use the URA. URA, I am choosing it. Fine. Click on it, select it, and then click on add role membership. I don't know. 
So as far as supply user is concerned, the supply and demand, uh, what happens is also required. Fine, supply and inventory manager is also required. And, uh, you know that. So we added it. <clears throat> so both are not visible here, fine. Maybe let it go down and use it. Yeah, supply and inventory manager is also required. So click on save and close. And then for the person who is now logged in, he must also have these four roles actually. I have already added actually. <clears throat> So click on save and close by which what happens sir? The EFI.n5 is now ready. Fine, I have now modified the user also. It is also ready. <clears throat> EFI.n5 is ready. And then here, what happens? I click on that. So here, uh, if you go on then have a look at it. Over. So for the main one, the buyer must have these four supply chain, uh, what happens, the roles actually. Fine, supply chain planner, supply chain collaboration planner, application manager, integration specialist, and we are required. So I have already added it, just show you. So I will now go to the user's account. What about I will now query for the E011. That is the user which I have logged in now. So, in fact, what happens? I even added more supply chain also. Fine. Uh, not only those, fine. There are some more supply chain roles also there. So, apart from the four mentioned, fine, I now almost added seven or eight actually. <laughs> so that you won't have any much of a problem. So, the user is set actually. Fine, click on that. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to configure uh, once when you are given the role, you will now get. Uh, this icon, now, fine. Go to the home icon. So click on the home icon. I go to the supply chain planning. Go to the supply chain planning. In this place, you will now get the supply collaboration icon will be coming if you have provided these four roles. I now added more roles also. These four roles, you will now get this one. Fine. Go to the supply collaboration. And then let me collaborate. I am now going to give the maintenance of the stock levels to the supplier. Thank you. Thank you. So click on it. And then we have a stock of this. Now, fine. Go that more. And then uh, I can even maintain at the org level, which is going to be 100 and 200. And then I can also maintain it the sub unit level also. I can even maintain it the sub unit level also. So go to this place. And then I have now come into the what's called your supply collaboration area. Fine. Click on the task list and then you go to the VM main and click on the manage VMA list. So here I'm going to add it. So click on this. And let me add the item. So go there. Organization is what? A011. And A011 is the org. Supplier is what? You go there. I will not put my supplier over there. The E0120 is the supplier. <clears throat> so E0120 is the one. I'll go that one. And then the scope can be org or otherwise a sub -inventory. Now, this time, let me do it in sub -inventory. Uh, the sub level, I'm going to maintain it. So every item, you're going to keep the minimum and maximum levels either at the org level, that is at the item attribute, or otherwise the sub -inventory level. I'm not choosing the sub -inventory level. So what is the item? I will not go there. A0120 is the item. <clears throat> let me choose the item. Ah, come on. Come on. So, since I have not done one setup, it is not coming at all. Fine. I have to make one more setup actually, fine. it is not coming. So, the setup which is missing is what? I will not go over there. Go to the place. Let me do the setup. Fine. I have to do the uh, sub unit level setup. I click on setup. Or so, it is not coming over there now. <clears throat> so, I will not do this. So, click on it. I will not go there. So, this is not coming here. Sub unit is not coming actually. So, what I will do is I will not go to this place. Fine. Click on it. So let us now go to the manage sub unit is allocated. Thank you for searching. <coughs> go there. The manage percentage. Sub percentage. Look up percentage. You go there. So I'll now go to the manage sub unit is allocated. So, and then here I'm going to add the sub unit. In this place, what happens? I'll now go to the manage items. This is a restriction actually. So in this sub inventory, I will not click on the manage items sub inventory. So let me add the item. <coughs> so click on it. Let me add the item over there. So go there. So click on plus and then let me add the item. So go the item is what? A0120 is the one. So give it a tag. So give it a So item is coming fine. It is going to be managed by supplier actually. Supplier managed. And then here I am going to keep a quantity of what? 300 and 400. There is 100 and 200. Fine, go to 300 and 400. So every item you will now maintain the min max level either at the sub inventory levels or at the org level. Fine, depending upon the requirement. So these two things are done. Fine. So click on save close by which what happens? We are now completed. It is supplier managed. Remember, it is not a min max planning, it is a supplier managed. Fine. So you have the and four. So click on seven close by which what happens? It is now set now. <laughs> Since we are set up here, you can go there and then we will now try to query for the item. Fine. It is a sub unit level. Fine. Go that point. I will not try to query that. So click on the query item. <clears throat> I'm not going to query the item. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. <clears throat> now it's coming. Previously it was not coming. Fine. Go select it and then click on it. So we are now restricted to the sub unit. And then we will now choose the sub unit also. Fine. Click on it. <clears throat> and then click on search now. Fine. You have only one sub unit. I'm going to choose it. Now, the min max levels at the org level we have mentioned 100 and 200, and then at the sub unit level we have mentioned 300 and 400. So, whether this is basically an enterprise setup, so if you put it as enterprise, it will now take it up from our system, and then it will now uh, what happens, it will now send it to the collaborators for maintaining the levels. 
Fine. But this is not easy at all because setting it up at enterprise level, our planning department people have to set up everything. Fine. They have to set up these levels. And then there are some thousand items are there. They have to constantly monitor it and then depending upon the production needs, they have to make a change. Now. And that doesn't happen at all properly because our people will not be so dynamic actually. So instead, what happens? You give it to supplier. If you give it to supplier, we will know it will know the system will now send only the on-hand quantity at the midnight. At every midnight, what happens? We are going to what happens? Run this VMA rep engine actually. It's called refresh, refresh, refresh VMA data. So once we refresh it, the on-hand data will be sent, but not the minimum and maximum ones. This only will be sent if you make it as a supplier actually. And then he will now walk in into our warehouse. He will now see about how the stock levels are required. He will now discuss the inventory in charges and then others. And then he will know what happens finally derive what should be the minimum and maximum for this item actually. So the min max level, he will now come and then interact with us and then finally design. <clears throat> Whereas if it is so, then our team has to what happens to put the value either at the item level or the org level or at the subject level. Right? So it, that is really very difficult actually. We'll go there. So I am now going to begin with the enterprise only, and then I will not tell you what will happen if it is a supplier actor. Enterprise means what it will now pick up from our system. Actually. And then he will now make a replenishment request actually. He is now going to make a RR replenishment request. So that will be coming, flowing back to the system. And then we will now say who is the default request. I will now put my employee over here. EMP11, <clears throat> EMP1, comma, fine. This is called A011. Fine. This is my employee. So this is the one. So it is now enterprise level. So in the system will now pick up from our uh, uh, inventory. So sub inventory level, you have made it now. So the sub inventory will now set up as 300 and 400. So that will be passed on to the supplier actually to maintain the stock flow. So, go there. so the VMA setup is not done. Right? Because I close. You have to do like this for every item. If there are 1,000 items are there, so some items will be at the org level, some of them will be at the sub unit level, fine, and then it may be enterprise or supplier, everything you have to decide. And then click on save and close. So by which, what happens there? The VMA network is now set up. So click on that. It's all done. So everything is done. <clears throat> so we have a stock also, fine, go there. Now, what we'll do is, I will now pull, push it into the supplier's area. Fine, every night, we will normally do it. You know, run a concurrent to push it into the supplies area. I will now go to the home icon <clears throat> and go there. So I will now go to the tools and then go to the schedule process. Normally, people will be running it at the midnight, actually. <clears throat> it all depends upon the community company. Fine, go there. Now, we are going to push this data. Fine, A0120, uh, this item, we are now have to maintain it at the submit level at 300 and 400, and then the on hand is 75. So this information, we are going to push it into the suppliers area. <clears throat> so that one, I will do it. Fine, one second. So I will now run this VMA rep engine data. In our case, we are now given as an enterprise actually. So enterprise means what? It will now pick up, uh, it will now take up the copy of this one now. This is the one I'm going to push. So this is normally run in the night. And then what happens? It will now go to the supply area. So we are now going to run it. So rep, refresh VMA replenishment data. So in our case, it will now, uh, this VMA, this A0120 item is now going to be supplier managed actually. And at the sub inventory level, we have given a stock levels of what the minimum and maximum level of 300 and 400. And then the on end is what is 75 actually. So these informations will be passed on to the supplier actually. So we'll now run the refresh VMA replenishment data. So you will have uh, thousands of items there. Fine. All the things will be going over there to the supplier actually. Since it is only one item, it will be doing fast. Otherwise, what happens? You have to what happens? Wait and then see. <clears throat> so this is the one now. Fine. So it's now going to run now. So we'll now give a okay for it now. Fine, that. So there will be very many suppliers, very many items, everything will be there, very many organizations. So leave this as a blank and then submit it. In our case, there's only one. So what happens? They'll be running fast. Otherwise, there will be thousands of records which has to be pushed to all the collaborators. Actually. Fine, click on submit. So this will now push the data to the collaborators. But click on it. Okay, not running. <clears throat> no running. So uh, it got completed quickly. Otherwise, it will be taking a longer time actually. So now in our case, for the A0120, it will now push the on end of 75 plus 300 and 400 at the sub unit level. It will not do because we are now made as an enterprise. Actually. So let us now go on and log in as a supplier actually. We are going to log in as a supplier actually. Now go there, go to this place. We will now log in as a supplier. Take off it. I will now open up another browser now. Fine. Let's open a browser. I am going to open it up. <clears throat> I will now log in as a supplier actually. So for supplier login, it is the same URL only. Fine. There is no different URL at all. In Ebus, is a different URL. Here it is all same. So the username is what? A5.n5. 
if it identify and then i know given the password right so the passwords let me go on the sign by the consent so we are signing if it identify now the supplier is logging in he is now sitting in delhi our company is in mumbai so the supplier is logged in into the supply portal actually <clears throat> so we are given a left hand timer so we are given the inventory manager role also fine so click on the home icon here and click on the home icon so you'll now get it now fine go click on the top home icon and then from that you go to the supplier portal actually so go to the supply portal and click on the supply portal and then go to the supply portal and now here you can now see the vmi coming up so the vendor manager inventory entries are coming because of this role fine this role is responsible the supplier inventory manager role is responsible for him to see the vmi area i will you will now click on the manage inventory and then you will now have a look at it so click on it. and then here you can so see there is one uh, thing uh, in the main info let itself it is not coming fine if i cancel now fine you cancel <coughs> So go there. So there is a requiring attention is coming fine. Go there. It has already gone. Fine. If you click on it, it needs what items are requiring replenishment. Fine. This, this item needs replenishment. So since we have run the VMA rep data, fine. Refresh VMA rep data. So this data has now come to him. So if you click on it, fine. If you click on it, click on the requiring attention. It will not show you. It requires replenishment actually. It is not requiring a replenishment. So we have an on end of seventy five. There is nothing in the order. And then if you go right hand side, what I mean, you know, see three hundred and four hundred of the levels here. So this data from enterprise to push it into the supplier is somewhat difficult actually. Fine, make it a supplier and then do it now. Fine, instead of enterprise, if you make it a supplier, these two will be blank actually. <clears throat> and then he will now upload the data. I will not tell you about how to upload the data. This now, fine. How to how he will upload the data over here. Actually. So as of now, it has not come from the enterprise three hundred and four hundred. So he has to maintain the stock levels between three hundred and four hundred. Now he got the data. In the morning he will now have a look at it. So you now see it is now seventy five. So that means what we have to at least to bring in two twenty five, but he will not try to replenish it to the maximum of four hundred. Four hundred means what three twenty five is required. So three twenty five is required, but he is not having that much of a stock actually. So he is now going to create a replenishment request for let us say two fifty quantities. So two fifty quantities. So it is already in red actually because it is now less than the three hundred, and so the color is in red actually. So on order nothing. So he will now make a RR. It's called replenishment request for two fifty quantities only because he is not having sufficient quantity at all. So to bring it to four hundred, so he don't have any sufficient quantity. So but his task is to maintain the levels between three hundred and four hundred every day. And then on a month of a thirty days, if he is maintaining the stock levels between the required bandwidth for more than twenty five days, he will now be retained as a VMA supplier actually. Otherwise, he may even lose it. The company may even give it to somebody. If he is not able to maintain even for twenty five days in a month. Fine. Then he will be questioned, and then he will be removed. Actually, so he will be very cautious on this, and then always on every day, he would like to maintain the stock between these two levels, right? With whatever levels is there. So he is now going to make because of a shortage of material with him now. Fine, he will now make a RR only for two two fifty quantities. So he will now go there, go to the actions, and then here you are going to create a replenishment request. So this is not coming because it is not highlighted actually. Fine, here there will be so many items you have to mention. Fine, you have to highlight the appropriate item. Fine, we have come here. You will now highlight. Fine. Go to actions and then go to create replenishment request. He is now going to make a RR. I click on create replenishment request. He is going to make a replenishment request. So go there. So uh, he is now going to go there and then he will now make a RR. Now fine. So what is the supply side? He go there, drop it down. I think he made as the side pay. I think. <clears throat> so go that one. So now choose it. Fine. Come on. Choose it. And then he is now making RR from his login actually. Fine. Quantity is what two fifty. So two fifty is the quantity. I am now making the RR. So the delivery date is also saying now fine. So he can now say that uh, today itself I can very well deliver it. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> he will now say <clears throat> shortage of material because of which he is unable to bring it to four hundred actually. Fine. Two fifty plus seventy uh, five uh, will now bring it to only three twenty five, but it will not bring it to four hundred actually. Fine. He will now get it. And then he will now submit it. So this RR will now start to flow into our system from his login actually. Fine. For two fifty quantities. Fine. Click on submit. The RR he is now making it now. Fine. You know, made a RR now. Fine. This RR will now. Fine. The replenishment request number is five thousand one has been submitted now. So what you will do is you will now go uh, go save and close now. Fine. Go on save and close. And then here you can now see that it will be flowing into our system side like, from here. Ah, uh, this thing now. <clears throat> save and close. And then here you can see now. Fine. So once when the RR is made, it will now come as a submitted. And then once when the PR is now created, it will now come as a request for action. The status of the five thousand one ah RR will now change it to request for action. Go that more. Now what is this? He will now monitor the request via manage uh, replenishment request. Manage RR. Initially he created RR via manage inventory, and then now he is going to monitor it. Fine. Come on. Manage uh, RR. He will now go there. No nothing. Requiring attention is nothing. So he will now populate the item. We find A zero one two zero. Then give it up. He will query on the manage RR. 
and over. Leave a tab, no fine. Drop it down. <clears throat> then choose it and choose it. And then go there, click on search. You will not find the RR coming up over here. <clears throat> the RR will be available. No, it is requested actually. If it is requested, that means what? It has now reached our system and then the PR is created. Fine. The request is approved. The request is also approved and then created actually. The, we are now made is automatic actually. When the position approval is automatic. So go there. It is now approved. <clears throat> So it is now requested actually. Fine. It is initially submitted and then afterwards it has now gone to the requested state is also because the PR is also created and then it is also approved. It's also approved. Now it is now requested. It will now go there, go into our system and see it is now requested. Fine. It is now go into our system. Fine. So go there, click on it. We will now go to this place. Fine. So I will now go to this place. Fine. We will now go on and have a look at it. And click on the home icon. Click on the favorites icon. I will now go there. I will now go to what? I will now go to the PO overview. I will now go to the PO overview. So go to the PO overview. <clears throat> So go there. So click on it. I will now go to the process requisition area. I will now go to the process requisition area. Fine. That is the place where we can see the approved requisitions coming up. Fine. Go to the process requisition area. Okay. So the approved requisitions will be available over there. Click on the process requisition area. <clears throat> so go there. Click on it. I will now query on the item. Fine. The EA0120 is the one fine give it app. The item will be coming. And then I will now remove the buyer and then make a query. It is not coming. Fine. I will now drop it down. Go there. The EA0120 is the one. Fine. Click on search. Mm. So on can search for it. Choose it now. Find it on the page. And then remove the buyer and then make a query. Remove the buyer. And then click on search now. Find you will not see the RR being converted into a PR, and then the PR is also there. It takes some time. Fine. Actually, you have to wait for some five minutes, I think. Fine. So for the PR to reach over here, actually. Even though there it is showing, but here it is not showing you immediately. And so there it is not showing as what requested. That means what it has already pushed everything into a system in an appropriate manner. So the 5,000 one is requested, but it takes some time for you to, what happens is, sends it on the process requisition area. So you have to wait for some time. Mm -hmm. So after some time, what happens, it will be visible for you. So it may even say, take some five minutes for you to see it. I've already set up the PR approval as automatic. And so it will be showing over here now. <clears throat> it will not show here. So let me wait for some time now. Mm -hmm. I waited almost for more than three minutes actually. And then I made a search, it has came. Know that so you know that. So I'm not going to create a PO actually. So once when you create a PO, if you go on and see this now, once when the PO is created, it will now go from requested to in review actually. When the purchase order is created, it is now requested. That means what the, the request is now approved and created. So upon which it is now going to request it. And then once when I create a PO, it will now go to in review actually. Purchase order is created, and then it is awaiting for buyer approval. It will now go to in review. So I'll go that one. I will now select it and then click on add to document builder. I'm going to wait on that. So the supplier, the supplier is also coming from the VMI data actually. So the supplier also will be available over there now. <clears throat> so, there. so the supplier is available. Fine, if you want. Then click on OK, and then we'll now add to the document button. <clears throat> We're going to add to the document. Go there. So click on create. So I'm going to create it. So upon creation, the status of the RR given by the supplier. Fine, supplier has now given a replenishment request that will now go to in review actually. Fine, click on create. I'm now creating it. So the PO is now created. So once when the PO is created. It will now go to in review actually. Uh, <clears throat> the PO is under creation process now. Fine. So it is for 250 quantities. So, so everything is not coming up. Mm. So the total is there 2,500. Fine. $10 is the price, unit price. So because of which, whatever. The number of so once when the PO is created, the status of the RR will now go to in review actually. So the RR is now getting converted into PR. The PR is now converted into PO also. 2013. I will not go there. I will not go on and have a look at it. So for that. So if you click on refresh, it will now go to in review. And you click on it. It will now go to a review. And in review. Let me look at it. Now we are now going to submit this PR to approval. So let me submit for approval. My 2013, I'm going to submit for approval. I click on submit. I'm now submitting it for approval. So once when the PO is approved, it will now get closed. RR will now get closed. <clears throat> By which the supplier will understand that what happened, the PO is created actually. <clears throat> so 2013 is a PO. So upon submission, what happens? It will be getting what happens? Closed actually. So on the supplier portal also, you can see the PO. Fine, PO can be seen. You know, submit to approval. So we will not give it done now. We will now go and then monitor the approval. So we will go to this place. I will now go to what? Manage orders. 2013. I will not have a look at it. So 2013 is the one. Orders go up. 2013 is the one. So click on search now, find click on search. I'm going to search for it. So it will be initially in a pending approval. 
and then afterwards, after some time, all of us will be getting to open. If open is what? The trade is open. Depending on what. So the upper information is currently available. And it won't take some time. So we wait for some time. And then afterwards, again, click on the pending approval. So we'll now go back here. <clears throat> it is now under process, actually. So click on. I will again click on the, what's called go there. <clears throat> I will now go to the PO OU. So 2013 is the PO, actually. I will now go to the manager orders. I will now go to the manager orders. And then query for the 2013 PO. <clears throat> So 2013 PO will be available. So order is what? 2013. And then click on search, no fine. It will be going to open status search. So once it is approved, it will not become open actually. This is the order number. So he is a buyer only from there. So it's still on a pending approval. If you click on the hyperlink of it, you will now see that the process is not available. Fine. It's not available. No, it's not taking some time. Actually. So let us now wait for some time and then make a requery now. So now the PO has now become open actually. Open means what? It is approved actually. It is now approved. So now if you go on then see on this place and let us want to see it will be closed actually. As per this one. So once when the PO is now submitted for approved, then it will be getting closed. The RR will not get closed actually. So click on refresh now find the interview, it will be getting closed. It's not closed. So now he can also see the PO over here. Now click on that. So on the supply portal, you can also see the PO. So I will now go to the manager orders. And then you can now put the PO. If I click on search now, blank search if you make it. The 2013 PO will also be communicated to him actually. So it is not there. So go there. So it will not show him the PO also. The manager orders. So what he has to find. 2013 is there. He can even click on the hyperlink and then have a look at it. The content of the PO you can very well see. So this is one of Now what he is going to do, he is going to ship the material and then he will now create a ASN actually. So A is and he is going to the, the complete a PO deal is available here, lines is there, schedules is there, everything is available. So after having seen everything, whatever you will not give it done. So he will not create a ASN from his side now. Right? So go that point. And then here it requires the attention of right? schedule what you are due today. Right? This is the one. Right? If you click on it, what happens? There? If you click on the requiring attention, you know, right? so one of the schedule is no audio. PO purchase order is no create actually. Purchase order amount is 2.3k. Order place is one actually. So what he has to do, he has to first of all acknowledge and then afterwards he has to ship it also. So you will not perform an acknowledgement actually. Mm -hmm. And that will be coming back to the buyer actually. And that is not a papers. So what he will do is he will not create a ASM. Advanced shipment notice. He has not, let us say, he has not shipped out of 20, 100 quantities he has shipped it. So click on create ASM. So he is not going to create ASM. And click on create ASM. Mm -hmm. So the purchase order, let us know, query find 2013 is the one. He will not put it and then make a search. Now find on search, on word search for it. So once when you search for it, it is available. So for which he will now create a ASN only for 100 quantities. Let's say he has not shipped only 100. So click on create ASN. So you'll be getting a ASN actually for 100 quantities. So the shipment number, you'll now say, what happens? A0120, fine. You will now say, uh, ship one. Something is on the date. Ship one is on Price terms is what? Uh, you will now put appropriate shipping method appropriately. You will now put it. Fine. Which method is not, is not there enough. Fine. Okay. So go there. So number of uh, supplies packing unit, fine. There are four packing units of that. The bill of lighting number is this, and then the bay bill number is this, and then you will now see the packing slip number is this. <clears throat> okay. So what is the packing code is also coming. So packing slip number I will now make it as what? One, two, three, four, five. Fine. That will be forming part of the invoice actually. The packing code. And then the uh, all other things you will now put fine. whatever is appropriate. So he is now saying 100 quantities is only shipping. So you know, ship 100 quantities for which you know get a and out of two things. So click on submit by which what happens A0120 uh, underscore ship underscore one A and is now getting created. Thank you. Sir. The A is and is now created for 100 quantities. <clears throat> that means what 100 quantities he has shipped to us. And for which what happens the A is and A0, uh, A0120 ship one was created. Number of lines is one. Thank you. So click on the number for that. You will again go there and then have a look at the management. In the management will not go on the query. I will not go to the query. Fine. A0120. Fine. Give it a tab now. <clears throat> so drop it off. And then choose it now. Fine. Click on choose it. And then click on search now. Fine. Click on search. So once when you search for it, what happens will be coming. So you can now see on and 75. On order is 250. And so the previously the color was in a red color. Now it has been to be, become the green now. Fine. Because it's now more than 200 actually. So more than 300. So since on order plus uh, on end is now more than 300. And so the total line is going to be green actually. So, yeah. 
Previously, it was 75. And then from here, what happens? He has now selected it. And then he has now taken a what? Uh, he has made a create replication RR now. So here also, you can now make a C or something. You can also get a ASN from here itself. So click on it. You can see. It'll now go on and monitor the, what happens? The manage, uh, replenishment request actually. Replenishment request number is one now. So I will now put on the item. I will now query on the item. I will send to the time. Let me query on the item. Okay. So choose the item and then make a search. search. <clears throat> So you'll now see the status of it. It's already closed. And so RR is fully closed. And so there is no further updates on the RR actually. RR has got no, no other updates. Now we'll now go to our system and then let us now resume it. Again. Go to the space. So I will now go to our system now. So I'll go to our system. The area. When I come to our system. So here we'll now go on the resume it actually. <clears throat> so I'll now go to the home icon and then I go to the inventory overview. I click on the inventory overview. Fine. Click on it. And then here, uh, what I will do is I will now go to the results now. Fine. So go to the what? Receive expected shipments. If I click on the receive expected shipments and go there. So I will now query on the ASN number. Fine. ASN number if it drop down, it will become one. Now see, click on search now. Fine. A010. Fine. A0120 is the one. Make a search. Fine. Click on search. For this R. Nothing to search. This is the ASN is coming. Fine. It is not complete. Fine. From this supplier, it has not come. Fine. I am going to query on this. Fine. Click on search. Now. <coughs> you are going to query by. So go there. So we'll now receive it. Thank you. So once when you make a receipt, the ASN has come now. Fine. Click on it. We're not going to make a receipt. <clears throat> so go there. Click on it. So the quantity is what? 100. 100 is the one which you're not seeing. So uh, click on 100. Now find the time. No coming. So here it is in the receiving section. Fine. Click on create it. So we are going to receive it. And then he has now given a uh, what happened? The packing slip number is 12345. That is also very auto here. 12345. So click on submit. Which what happens there? The GRN gets created. The GRN is now created. So one, two, three, four, five. The GRN is now created. It is the receipt number is what three zero one three is the one. So create the command one. So the backing clip number is also coming over the one. Now let us now go there and then we will now since we have enabled the pay on receipt, we will now run the what's called send pay now. Thank you. We'll now go to this place. Thank you. We'll now run the send pay. What is the place? I will now go to the tools and then I go to the schedule process. So, by which the invoice will be getting automatically created because it's on a pay and reserve now. Right? So, should a new process. I will now run the send pay. <coughs> send pay is the one from the send pay. Right? Send pay is the one. So, send pay on reserve will now create an invoice automatically with the packing slip number as the invoice number. And then that will be ready for processing in the payables section. That will be ready for processing in the payables section. Send pay. <clears throat> so this concurrent is now responsible for this. No These concurrents are now taking a longer time. So we have to wait for some time actually. So the send pay on receipt I'm going to run now. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> we'll go there. And then the transaction source is evaluated receipt settlement. And then it's okay. And then if you know the receipt number, you can put it. I think it is a 3013, I think. And then uh, keep the aging period as zero actually. And then click on submit. And then by which the system will now create automatically an invoice. You know, submit it. <coughs> okay. So it will be creating an invoice now automatically. <coughs> so this is called pay on the zip. So whatever, uh, what happens, it is already gone actually. Can click on close. Click on refresh. So the same pay on receipt is not run. Then there's a spawned child process called import payables invoice. And the import payables invoice is not running. So once when it's completed, it will not even give you a report also. <clears throat> so the report will be having the packing slip number as an invoice number actually. <clears throat> that is the one. You can see this. In the meantime, what you can do is you can now go there, click on that now, and then uh, we can even go on then have a look at the payables area and then see this now. Go to the payables now. Go to the payables. Go to the payables. And then here I go to the invoices and have a look at it. Query for the supplier actually. <clears throat> go to the invoice and click on it. Now go to the manage invoices. So go to the manage invoices. And then here we can now query on the supplier. Supplier is what? A0120 is the one time give a tap. The supplier is coming. So click on search now. It will not find the invoice here. Okay. So how many days of uh, data you want to have out of it so that you can also use this number and so like days, then click on it. So by which the invoice will be shown over here. It is already important. So select it and click on it. 
and then i will not go on the edit no fine you can also see the ers invoice the prefix and then 1 2 3 4 5 is the packing slip number and then there is the running number so uh, the uh, company will be basically uh, tracking by way of packing slip section mm -hmm. so every packing slip whether it is not paid or not they will also fine click on it you click on the hyperlink of it mm -hmm. so they will be monitoring it by packing slip section fine there is a usual method so it is not validated i go to the actions and go to validate so that which once where it is validated it becomes eligible for payment so the distributions are already created the nine levels fine over so the validation is also getting completed it is now validated it go to the nine stage so the system has obtained the distribution fine it's not in so it is now relieved the accrual and then it is now what am i going to create the distribution it is now saved close it is now ready for a payment actually now the supplier can also create what a is b and actually we will now go to the supplier area uh, we will now go that one so here uh, if you give a search again now fine click on the rr is already in this closed status only fine we don't have any updates on this uh, already closed click on <coughs> so go that one now what he is going to do is now create a asb and actual so click on it so click on the manage inventory <coughs> and then go there i will not query on the item a0120 and go that <coughs> not drop it down or choose it now so now it is a see on and is 75 and then on order should be again the data has not been as the the latest on and has not come because only when you run the vma data so only when you run it fine only when you run the refresh vma data then only the latest stock will be getting updated on the supply portal like otherwise it will not come so the old stock is only shown so he will now create a asbn and go to the actions and then here what happens sir Uh, I will now select the end, select the line, and then go to the actions, and then create A S N is coming, but A S B N is not there. So let me make an A S B N. A S B N is not available in this place. Thank you, Ramesh. Let us now make an A S B N. Advanced the shipment come billing mode is that. Click on save and close and come out of it. Go there. So we will now create A S B N and create A S B N. Advanced the shipment come billing mode. Thank you. So for the one fifty quantity is going to be fine. I will now put the purchase order number two zero one three is the one. Thank you, Ramesh. So click on search. <clears throat> so we are going to make a search bank. We select it, and then here, what happens? We create A S B N action, and select it, and then we are going to get A S B N action. Advanced ship one company. I will now say it's a A zero one two zero. Fine. I will now say ship underscore two. Second ship one, and then I will now fill up all the details. So invoice number I am going to create. Number three thousand. Number three thousand one two three four. Some number I am putting in. Invoice amount for the 150 quantities it is 1,500. So today it is 1,500. Since uh, the taxation is not there, I am not putting only 150, 1,500. Go there. Four for quantity 150. 10 each. I go there. Yes. The invoice amount is now there. Shipping cost if it is there, we can put let us say 10 dollars or 12 12 dollars the shipping cost. I am not going. Tax amount is zero. Tax amount is zero. The payment terms you go there. So you must enter a positive number for the tax amount. I am going to ask. It is now asking for a tax amount positive. So let us put fifty dollars over one. So the tax amount is fifty dollars. I am putting it in the bank. It is twelve dollars. Dollars. Payment terms you drop it down. I will now say two million. I will now make it as what immediate now because he is now going to what I was a foreigners with the what is called uh, this one. So we will now make an immediate payment actually. Ah, <clears throat> uh, you can search now and then search for the immediate. <clears throat> Immediate. I'm going to make a search. No, I'm going to search. Let us not put the immediate. So the schedule for the immediate. So click on it. I'm not doing anything. So the currency is okay. Fine. So I supply side payment. So with this information, with the total dollars of shipping cost and the fifty dollars as tax. No, I'm going to click on something. No, by which order? The the uh, invoice number is one two three four. Thank you. Click on something. The A A zero one one zero and then ship two is the one on which what happens? We are now creating it actually. So it is now created. One of them, A S B N, is now created. Number one is one. So click on it. We will now go here. Go to our system now. Fine, click on it. We will now go to our system. And then here we will now go to the done now. Click on that. I will now go and then have a look at it again. Fine, click on it. <clears throat> we will now go to the place. We will now go to the manage invoices. <clears throat> For the supplier, we will now go and put it. Is that E zero one two zero the one point that? The supplier will now check the transaction. We will now give a go. <clears throat> So once when you give a go, fine. the second invoice is also ready actually. It is a one two three four is the invoice number. You know, there is no complaint. Thousand five hundred, you know, not valid. Not valid. Not. You know, go on the validity detection. Click on it. 
So now go to actions and then go to validate. So by which there's no value. And then it becomes eligible for a payment action. Mm -hmm. It needs a revalidation, it's not saying anything like that. So we'll now click on the need revalidation. You know, see why we are unable to validate it. Uh, it needs a revalidation. The distribution variance is coming actually fine because it is not yet received actually. We have to receive it. The distribution variance is coming. Line variance is coming. System holds a stream of So we are unable to it because we have to receive it actually. We have to make a receipt and then only what happens, it become it may become eligible for number. So if you click on the hyperlink on the line variance, you will now see what are the variance over there. Thank you. You know, have a look at the variance over there. Go down. So the freight is coming, everything is coming. You know that. So the amount is a different one. Fine. It must be what? 1500 plus 12 dollars plus 50. So that must be the amount actually. Fine. So the header amount must be proper actually. Fine. It's not proper actually. It's not proper actually. 1500. So uh, we have to, what happens? A correct it actually. Get a correct it. It's not a result actually. It's only a, on this one, it's not having a thing. So one, two, three, four, you go there. <clears throat> I have to bring it to edit mode and then do it. Now. Go to actions and then go to edit now. Thank you on edit mode. So this has to be corrected properly actually. In the edit mode, what happens? I will not see the invoice amount has to be corrected actually. <coughs> so it should not be 1500. It's 1500 plus 12 plus 15. <coughs> so 62. 1562 is the one. So I will not make it as what? 1062. So 62 is the one. I will not give up nothing. No correct. Thank you on save. <coughs> No saving it. So the header amount has been corrected along with the invoice amount. Of that. So you can now see 1,562 is amount. So still there is a what's called out of balance basically. It's not showing you 1,512 plus tax actually. We'll now again do the validation of and go to the imaginary and then go to validate. I click on validate and see how many errors are going to be. Mm -hmm. So go there, click on it. So it's 1,512. The tax amount has to be 50 actually. Ah. The tax is not recorded actually. The system has not recorded the tax actually. So that is why it's not still showing only one, 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 five. So even though we are given a tax, it's not recorded. So I will not make it as one, one, five, one, five. I keep on saying that. <laughs> so the tax is not come over yet. And click on it. Go to the invoice actions and then go to validate. Now it is now given it to green tick also on this one. It will not get validated. But why the tax he has put is not come over here, I don't know. In that portion. Maybe the tax setups are not proper because of it is not there. So go that point. Seven close by which what happens? Sir? Both the invoice are now ready for payment actually. We will now go to the inventory and then we will now make a result. Now go to the inventory. So go to the inventory overview. So we will now go to the inventory overview. <coughs> now here we will now go to the results now. Thank you the so receive expected shipments are now query on the EAs and number now. The A0120 and then we tab. So it is a ship two is the one which is now ready for a payment actually. And ship two is not going to click on search. On the A's and number, we are putting in the and select it. And then we are not going to make a result. So once when you make a gate result, it becomes eligible. It's ours for property. Even though you are not delivered, it doesn't matter. So go there. It is 150. So 150 is the one. So click on gate result. So this time, uh, he has not mentioned any packing slip number. So it's not coming over there. So click on submit. So by which, what happens is not. Now here, send pay is not required because the billing is already done. The billing is already done. So that is not required. So this is the total process of what uh, the VMA process. Now, uh, uh, many a times, what happens, uh, the supplier, <coughs> the supplier may not be, what happens, uh, the, you will not be making it as an enterprise. Actually. If you are not making it as an enterprise, if you are not making it as an enterprise, then supplier has to populate the data. A0120 is the one. Let me put it now. Drop it off. So supplier has to populate the data. So make a search for it. <coughs> so this data of 300 and 400 will not be coming from the enterprise. Actually. So it will be coming as a blank only with the on and right? that is the only thing will be coming. So now what you have to do is we have to populate it. So what they will do is the supplier will now walk in into the warehouse. You will now have a discussion with the inventory charges and others. And then finally decide how much is the level for today. Actually. So likewise, he is now going to maintain some 20 or 30 items. For all the items, he will now collect all the data. And then uh, he will now come back. And then what he will do is uh, for those items, he will now select the item and go to the actions. And then he will now go what? Upload min max quantities. He will now do it. So click on the upload min max quantity. You don't do it. Thank you. You'll now upload the min max quantity. You'll now come to the screen. So from here, you'll now download the one. Thank you. There is a download icon. So click on the download icon. So it will now download as a what? As a seeded data. Thank you. I will now say all records. Thank you. So submit. There are some things. You choose all record and then click on OK. <clears throat> so that gets downloaded actually. So the no record. No records exist in the table to download actually. All records are there. 
uh, no records is existing at all. So that means what, since it is an enterprise, it is not having any, what happens, the data is not fine. So let us now go and then make a change of the base system and then we will now upload it again. So in the enterprise, it is not allowing you to, what happens, even uh, download the defined account. So now again, download it and come out. Now go that part. I will not say uh, blank template or all records, or all sub inventory. So I will say sub inventory. Sub inventory is what I will not go on and choose the sub inventory. So click on search. Choose. In the sub inventory, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> For the I will not download. No record exists in the table. Today. So that means what? With the enterprise, you cannot do anything at all. Fine. So let us now go to the base system, and then uh, we will not do one thing. So we will so not able to do it. So we will not go to our system, and then we will not change the VMA area. Now, right? click on the form icon. <coughs> form icon. Go there. So here I will not go to this place. Now, right? I will not go to the supply chain planning. And then I go to the supply collaboration. Thank you for supply collaboration. <clears throat> and then we will not change it to what? Enter, uh, supplier actually. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the VMA area. Right? Go to the managed VMA network. And then let me change it to what? Go there. So the item is what? A0120 is the one thing with that. Ah, item is not coming here. Ah, everything is what? Uh, okay, A0120. I think it may even uh, take it as a what? As a reduction criteria, we'll not see. You're not coming. So click on edit. So we're going to edit for it. And then change it. Thank you. That's more edit again. So click on edit. So in the inventory, I will not make it as a supplier actually. We'll make it as a supplier. So we are not making it as a supplier. Thank you. Okay. Now we have even on and also. Thank you. That's more seven close. Let us now run the VMA area. Thank you. No, no, modify it. The VMA is not modified to supplier actually. Let us now go there and then we'll not run it. Now go to the monitor process. Now go to the monitor process. In the monitor process, what happens? I will not run it. Nothing. Else. So this is the concurrent I have run. So refresh VMI replenishment data. I will not take copy it. I will not paste it over here. Do that. So refresh VMI replenishment data is the one. I am not running it now. So once when it comes, I will not run it. Now the supplier has to what happens? The load it actually. So it will not also pass on the new on and actually. The new on and will also be passed. So we'll not go there and then click on it. I will not upload it actually. Fine. For all the suppliers, all the organizations and all items, I'm going to support them that. So now it will not give you the new on hand as well as uh, now he only has to submit. That is the recovery it actually. We will not recovery it. Fine. So refresh VMA left in the So we will not go to what supply portal. Then click on done. And then I will not research on this. Fine. It is a 75 and then 250 of the order of that. So click on search again, it'll not would have changed it. The on hand itself would have gone. So now uh, you can now see the on hand is still showing as only 75. The on hand is still showing as only 75. And then uh, here uh, I will not go there. So let me give a cancel now. I will not log out and log in. Okay? Let me log out and log in. Sign out and sign in. <clears throat> That's not exactly coming properly actually. Thank you for sign out and log in. Confirm it. And then again, whatever you know, go there. I will not go for E5. Dot n five. So click on save. So I will not go to the manage inventory and then let it not query it. It's what is a one two zero the one thing with that. No search for drop it down and then make a search. So click on search again. Search. You can now see the stock has not got updated at all. And we have got a new stock actually. Oh no, we are not delivered it actually. That is the reason that what happens the stock is not updated. And so now these two fields are not coming at all. And the minimum quantity and maximum quantity. So what I will do is he will not he will not go the select it and then here there is nothing. So he only has to define go to the actions and then here long what happens upload the min max quantities. So go that corner. We will not download a template actually. Now the template what happens you know say all records and then click on okay. So this time what happens the template is downloaded. Previously, it was not downloading it because it is not under his control. He will now open it up. No, thank you. Will now open it up. Double click on it. Will now open it. So he is opening it up. Thank you. And then he will now say for this item, what is the minimum and maximum you are going to do? This item, nothing like So this item, nothing like So you will now say 700 is the minimum and then 800 is the maximum. So click on commit. Save. It will not happen. It will now save. So min max quantity is 11 ton. It will not happen. You will save. Now what he will do is he will now upload it. Thank you. Upload. <coughs> Go there. So you know, choose a file. Go there. So I will now open up the Excel file. Right? 
downloaded excel files i mean max quantity you know come you have downloaded it click on sorry so click on sorry <coughs> it is not getting uploaded the final upload was processed fine with that you know coming as a success <coughs> So click on done and then come out of it and then see that the new values will be coming. If I'm not coming here, actually, it will not make a search. Fine, click on search. Okay. So click on search. It has to come as what? 780. So you can also manually enter also. Man, for this. You can also manually enter. Otherwise, you can even make a mass selection and then do it also. So one of the ways okay, you can manually enter, or otherwise mass selection is possible. So this way, the VMA process will be continued. Fine. It is uh, preferable to give it a supplier. Because uh, he will now come over to our place and then what happens to do all the things. And by which he can now see very well everything in this place. <clears throat> so this completes yeah, what's called a demo on the VMI. And, uh, so I hope that you have understood that the whole process in a very nice manner. Afterwards, again, he will not select and then he will not make RR. Uh, depending upon the need, if the stock is not within that level, he will not make RR. The whole process will be nice. So this completes yeah, what's called a yeah, short synopsis on this one. Okay? So bye for now, and then we'll not try to meet on some other video. Okay? So uh, uh, this is uh, basically outsourcing is the order of the day, and by which what happens? We will give it to supplier to uh, even uh, evaluate the min max quantities based upon the discussions with our company employees, and then that will be uploaded by him, and then that will be used for those. So bye for now.